So this is the basic, um, I call it the flat picking pattern that I do. Now somebody showed me that about 15 years ago and it took me this long to play it like that, I guess. And, and basically what you're learning is to keep that right hand going and to, you know, if, if you play that scale like I just played and that pattern, you're going to find that there's areas of that that are pretty hairy, that are hard to get through. But if you keep that right hand going, you'll always make it. So basically we're going to start with the G scale. So that's uh, G, which is the third fret of the sixth string, open A string, that's the fifth string. B, which is the second fret of the fifth string. C, which is the third fret of the fifth string. D, which is your open fourth string. E, which is the second fret of the fourth string. F sharp, which is the fourth fret of the fourth string. I'm gonna add two notes to that, which is the A, oh, I'm sorry, G, which is the open third string. A, which is the second fret of the third string, and B, which is the fourth fret of the third string. So we're gonna start on that B and do this little pattern here. But we're gonna work each time that we end on that note. The pattern just repeats, so it's basically this. But every time we start in the next phrase, we're gonna pick up and continue that pattern. I'll do it a little slower. Backwards. Try to throw in the uh, C sharp note that really doesn't fit there, does it? So everything that you do as a flat picker should feel like that. Now you're not going to play that many notes, maybe, but it should feel like that. The essential, the essential flat picking. basically it's like a bow stroke on a fiddle so it's just down up 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 for infinity so but every time you leave out a note or have a rest or say you um, do a long note you're gonna pick up wherever that wherever you left off um, maybe I'm not saying that right you're gonna leave out whatever stroke that you were on and continue on that pattern so if I, if I do a long note on a downstroke and it lasts <clears throat> over that next upstroke, then my next note that I play that I sound out is going to be a downstroke. Even though it's two downstrokes in a row, there would have been an upstroke in there, if that makes sense. So anytime you play like a, a quarter note instead of an eighth note, or anytime you play anything over that, just, just remember, kind of get that pattern in your head. <laughs> So wherever you would leave off is where you pick up. So all your flat picking should feel like that. Uh, whether whether you're playing bluegrass or, or anything, anytime that you're playing anything fast, the only way that you're going to get speed is to do that and, and to get a feel for that. And so I hope I helped you out. And it kind of looks like my apartment sitting on <laughs> sitting on the side of a cliff here. It's not. Uh, but anyways, have a, have a great day and I hope I helped you out some.